The gentlelady from Texas is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Durham. Um, Mr. Durham, after Inspector General Horowitz found serious errors last year with one aspect of the Russia investigation, but found accusations of a politically motivated FBI plot to be baseless, Donald Trump said, quote, I look forward to the Durham report, which is coming out in the not-too-distant future. It's got its own information, which is this information, meaning the Horowitz information, plus, plus, plus. Mr. Durham, do you consider your report to be the Horowitz report plus, plus, plus? Can you turn your mic on? I'm sorry. I suppose that's for other people to judge. Um, the report speaks for itself, in my view. Okay. Your one criminal conviction was for doctoring an email about a surveillance warrant, wasn't it? That's correct. And who referred this individual for prosecution? That matter was referred by the Inspector General's office. Okay, and this individual pleaded guilty, isn't that right? That's correct. Okay, and can you tell us what his sentence was? Um, he was sentenced to uh, 12 months probation. That's right. Uh, for, did um, you- For fabricating. For fabricating a document was to, was used to get a surveillance order on an American citizen. Did you charge any high-level FBI or intelligence officials with a crime? No. Right, you did not. In your report, you are highly critical of the FBI's Russia investigation. Is that fair to say? Certain aspects of it, yes. Okay. Did you recommend new charges as a result of those criticisms? We weren't able to prove matters. I, didn't, I couldn't say under the guiding principles that we'd be able to prove matters beyond a reasonable doubt because of lack of recollections, passages of time, inconsistent statements, so no, we didn't. So no, you did not, right. Uh, did you suggest any significant changes to how future investigations should be conducted? And I guess it's for others to judge whether there are significant suggestions um, or not. I think that uh, more disciplined uh, approaches to these matters um, can be affected by some of the recommendations we made, yes. Okay, um, I would say you did not suggest any significant changes. Um, in the FBI's statement in response to your report, it, it said that the FBI conduct you examined was, the, was, quote, the reason that current FBI leadership already implemented dozens of corrective actions, which have now been in place for some time. Mr. Durham, do you know why the corrective actions have been in place for some time at the FBI? Um, I think I know, yes. Okay, is it because the Inspector General finished his report three and a half years ago, making recommendations for changes that the FBI could make? In part. Okay, in the four years that you spent tracking down Donald Trump's conspiracy theories, other investigations were conducted and completed. These investigations and the Horowitz investigation primarily identified the problems with the FBI investigation. But the one thing the Horowitz report did not do was give Donald Trump and my MAGA Republican colleagues across the aisle talking points for their conspiracy theories. On that front, you delivered. Um, I'd like to yield the remainder of my time to my colleague, Mr. Schiff. Mr. Term, uh, your report attempts to uh, make a case that the Clinton investigations of Clinton were given more favorable treatment to that of President Trump. Um, but you leave out one very notable example, and that is your report makes no discussion of the fact that the email investigation into Hillary Clinton was made very public before the election, was it not? Um. If, if you had Fox, James if, Comey if, discussing Hillary Clinton's emails in the days leading up to the election? If I follow your question, I don't think that the report says that the Clinton administration, that Mrs. Clinton was given more favorable treatment. I think what the report says is that the FBI exercised some considerable discipline in how it was going to approach um, those matters as compared to how the FBI people who were involved in Crossfire hurricane approached why, Crossfire hurricane. Why, I think that's why, what the report why, Mr. says. Durham, why, Mr. Durham, would you leave out the glaring contrast between the FBI's public discussion of the Clinton investigation right before the election and its keeping confidential the Trump investigation. Wasn't that a glaring disparity in how they were both treated? 
I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it, the, really uh, don't FBI, know the, the FBI the did and Mr. Comey did what, uh, what they did. I was asked to... Yes, they did what they did. And in glaring contrast to how they treated the Trump investigation, which was kept secret before the election, whereas the Clinton investigation was discussed publicly affecting the outcome. Isn't that correct? I can Clinton's tell you that the FBI had that information gentlemen's and sat on it for months before they acted in yes, gentlemen's uh, making time is a public disclosure. Gentlemen's time has expired. Uh, the gentleman from Texas is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Durham, thank you for coming to testify.